Costume-Driven Explorations in Contemporary Creation Performing Arts, Martina Petranovic and Ivana Bakal. A number of prominent 20th century creation designers experimented with costume design in both mainstream and alternative theatres, but it was in the last 30 years that individual efforts of several creation designers and performance who approached the costume as an active agent in articulation of performance, an element of initiating and shaping the production with its content, form, material or performative potential, slowly but steadily altered the traditional, conventional and normative perception of costume design. I would therefore like to present the works of several costume designers reaching along the two distinctive lines associated with costume design that I believe developed over the past three decades. One centered on social and cultural issues of constructing and performing various collective and personal identities, the other centered on aesthetic issues of visual theatre, multimedia and porous borders between different artistic fields. Always, however, bearing in mind that the divisions between the two are neither fixed nor unchangeable, but quite the opposite. Furthermore, I believe that the two can provide sufficient context for discussing the work of my colleague co-presenter, contemporary creation costume designer and multimedia artist Ivana Bakal. Under the motto of This Is I, the naked body of the former Vlasta Delimer is articulated a central subject and material of her art and a starting point of her identity. However, ever since her first solo performance in which she scrutinized the idea of transforming one's personality by parading on the catwalk in different costumes, makeup and wigs until finally walking out naked, she commonly uses costume as a powerful tool in the symbolic process of identity construction and establishment of social roles. In an active interplay between the body and heterogeneous costume material, such as paint and textiles, plants and raw fish, characteristic elements of female clothing, military uniforms and culturally specific clothes, her costumes regularly stand in service of rehabilitating the body, deconstructing gender stereotypes and exposing repressive social mechanisms, but also in propagating tolerance between sexes, genders, national and religious groups. The effects of Delimer's costumes are rarely uniform and straightforward but complex and multi-layered. For example, she uses the dressed-up housewife outfit, the infamous pink suit, in at least two different meanings to destabilize the normative femininity and to emphasize the eroticism and appeal of female body. Some of the issues can also be noticed in costume designs of Ivana Popovic, sculptors, costume and fashion designer, performer and multimedia artist, who experimented with the form, function and boundaries of costume design in a number of projects bordering between the performance, anti-fashion show and exhibition in theatre venues, art galleries and public spaces. Grounded in the idea of ethics or aesthetics, costume designs in her productions were never neutral but actively involved in examining and subverting various social phenomena and cultural constructs, from fashion industry and fashion-imposed beauty standards, fully formulated in her concept of fashion victims, nationalistically inspired kitsch, gender discriminations and stigmatization of minority groups, the disadvantaged, the elderly, and in line with her personal battle with breast cancer, the ill. For example, in The Beauty and the Beast, she explored the idea of fashion victims and literally identified the crinoline of the beauty with a hen house which contained both metaphoric and real hens. In the red current bomb, entire satin costumes were made out of red and white checkered pattern typical of Croatia to address the kitschy and nationalistic abuse of national and folk heritage. In Madonna, I am pregnant, I, I am a fashion victim, she sculpted, painted or inscribed the costume with various motives related to motherhood and female identities to clash the traditional and contemporary views of female body and social roles. In urban breastfeeding women, she addressed the issue of public breastfeeding and created garments that help women breastfeed in public spaces with more ease, etc. Ivana Popovic also experimented with various artistic media in her performances, argued for the theatralization of visual art, highlighted visual structure of her performances, and the development of dramaturgy from the visual expression and added sculptural qualities to her designs, 
like in the big blue cycle, composed out of seven wooden apron-like dresses inspired by the realities of war in Croatia in the early 90s and by the heritage of Russian avant-garde. While in some performances the dresses appeared as static exhibits on the wall, in others they were involved in the performance and turned into wearable costume sculptures, and the performance animated them, explored the relation between the performing body, movement and the costume, as well as the capacity of costume to be transformed, repurposed or modified. In contrast to Vlasta Delimar, who refutes any labels, multimedia performances and costume designs of Xenia Kordic are deeply and openly rooted in feminist rethinking of identity issues. Using video installation, live performance and costume design, like in Wannabe, Kordic discloses and opposes the patriarchal concept hidden behind a proverbial saying, a lady in the living room, cook in the kitchen and whore in the bedroom. The performance is based on a symbiotic yet ironic interchange between a video installation playing three video clips that demonstrate the mentioned stereotypes and herself as performer dressed in a provocative close fitting suit made out of videotape, who after a period of being passively exposed to an audience gaze while lying on an isolated pedestal like a living sculpture, decides to free herself from the imposed objectification and commodification, cuts and removes the suit and leaves the stage naked. Among the designers and performers who use costume design to examine, challenge or perform gender identities, designer and performer Taichi Cicada went one step further. Her interest in ecologically acceptable and sustainable design, animal rights and balanced relationship of humans and nature led her not only to turn to recycle and second-hand materials and to experiment with biomaterials and forms as resource, inspiration or setting for her costume designs and site-specific photo performances, but to involve herself in a costume-led trans species and transgender transformation. Developing an idea of one's true identity and now to shell that perfectly suit one's inner life and character, Shikada herself undertook a costume-led transition from a female human to a male hair, relying equally on conventional and organic costume design, clothes and prosthetic interventions in her body. In addition to the discussed line of politically and socially engaged costume performances, often altered by a single designer performer, equally important and corresponding line of more aesthetically oriented costume explorations develop. In 1993, designer, dancer and educator Kuna Tarle established the Facades, an experimental theatre group committed to study of visual theatre, theatre of objects, shapes and poetic images, in which the dramaturgy is grounded in visual aspects of the production. In transformations of scenic material, whose potential and interior energy is explored, foregrounded and revealed during the performance, and in a rejection of clear-cut boundaries between stage elements. The facade's most successful production, Maiden Sleep or Springtime in a Blind Alley, nevertheless commented upon the destabilized identities of social outsiders and collective intolerance towards any kind of otherness. Inspired by both the watercolors and biography of deaf bone patron Slava Rashkai, the production translated Rashkai's intensive and personal understanding of nature and world around her into a series of expressive visual images and synesthetic associations, in which the costume was one of equally important elements in an ongoing process of exploration, transformation and interaction of female bodies, puppets, settings, materials, sounds, light, movement and video projections. As mentioned in the introduction, several of the topics already touched upon, costume and the performance of identity, costume and activism, costume and the visual theatre, are discernible in the works of Ivana Bakal, who after several decades of involvement in classic theatre costume design, began exploring the potential and prospects of costume beyond the boundaries of mainstream theatre stages and productions. While her costume designs for a multimedia project, Urban Hum, White Gender Neutral Workouts, cover in printed reproductions of documentary traces of chosen urban landscapes, complement the Shadowcasters' examination of political, economic and private histories of Croatian urban spaces in a somewhat traditional cohabitation of costume and performer. 
In an exhibition trilogy developed with the colleague designer Katarina Radosevic Galic and individual projects, Bakal tackled far more freely and unconventionally with the issues of costume and recycling, sustainable art and ecologically engaged performance, costume and personal and cultural history, heritage and memory, costume and economic and social realities, costume making process, multi layered relations of fine arts and costume design, and the nature and role of costume in costume exhibitions, multimedia projects, and costume performances. Her costume designs and projects explored the nature of costumes composed out of cast-off and found objects. Inherited family textiles and items, alternative, recycled and ecological materials. They make various stages and structural elements of costume making process not only visible but exposed and estranged. For example, an oversized crinoline turns into an exhibition space which the viewer can enter and experience from within. And promote costumes that even though they are inanimate, contrary to the traditional theatre process, provide a main content, atmosphere and character. Or even entice the performance of costumes in communication with one another, setting and dramaturgy of the exhibition venue, light and sound design, recordings and occasionally partial animation by a live performer. The idea is to re-examine the costume structure, material and function, destabilize the established methodologies and processes of creating costumes. Replace the performance of actors by the performance of costumes in which the performance is initiated by, based in and organized around the costume design. And stipulate audience perception by offering the viewer a role of active participant who can perceive and understand the costume in frame of fine arts or performance or both. In words of Ivana Bakal. Inspired by the renowned representatives of visual theatre, such as Oskar Schlemmer, Russian avant-garde artist Tadeusz Kantor, or Robert Wilson, but also several prominent Croatian theatre artists and groups, such as Lubovavic, Sergei Gluma, Tsikash Komel, Kugla Glumiste, Kokole Moko, I wanted to explore the visual aspects of theatre and the possibilities of costume design outside the traditional theatre spaces especially in the framework of costumes' contribution to production dramaturgy and of costume designers' transformation into multimedia artists and total author of the production. I looked for a possibility of awakening or enhancing the performative potential of fixed and unmovable costumes displayed in the exhibition space fashioned in combination of unusual materials and traditional but redefined forms. All of my costumes or costume installations are defined by proportions of human body. And most of them came to me, inspired or provoked by the initial object or material. They can be my interpretations of the possibilities of material, my projections of characters yet to be written, or my reflections on contemporary topics like overwhelming consumerism and environmental degradation. In conclusion, let me just briefly sum up that presented authors and costume designs show remarkable versatility and investigative impulses, looking into the processes and acts of creation and perception, along with a focus on the costume itself as active, dynamic and expressive, the experiments with material and forms, the establishment of strong visual images rather than textual narration and character, the capacity of costume to entice the performance instead of only serving it, the potential of costume and costume designer to co-author and author the performance. And last but not least, the voicing and exploration of personal and collective identities, of articulating powerful artistic, social and even political statements, of challenging various gender, nation and class-related assumptions, and of expressing wide-ranging global and local cultural concerns dominant at the turn of the century. Thank you.